Oh, didn't see you there. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Chris the Big Snowman, and on this month's Loot Crate unboxing, we have a really, really cool one because it's Fear, and um, not much of a shock there. On the lead up to uh, Halloween, which is next month. Um, so this is the box itself, and it's heavy. I'm um, I'm quite happy because uh, I've not had a heavy box yet. And uh, heavy usually means good quality, or high quality, or something amazing, usually. Unless it's just full of bricks. So, I'm going to go through this real quick this time, guys. Going to try and get it a bit more streamlined, less uh, clumps and stuff. And hopefully you guys enjoy this loot crate unboxing, and I'll be with you at the end of the video to share my opinions and thoughts. Peace. Okay then guys, so here we have the box, we'll be seeing more of this later, and for the first thing that came out was this little box, and it's pretty awesome. It contains inside a Dead Rising 3 weapon that you can create or craft inside the game, and it's basically a sledgehammer with a chainsaw on the end of it, or like a, sorry, like a axe saw, some sort of saw, I don't know. Um, but it is immense, like the attention to detail on this tiny little model is pretty goddamn sweet. Um, it feels like a pencil almost, with like a really sharp thing on the end. It's awesome, guys. This model is awesome. Next up what we have is How to Survive a Sharknado. This book seems absolutely insanely fun. Um, I don't read books. Um, I know some of you might not think that that doesn't make me intelligent, but I just don't read books. The information goes in through one ear and it goes out the other. I can read a book, I just don't retain the information. But this seems like something that I might actually read. Like, as you can see, some of the things in here look absolutely insanely stupid. And this information about all the different, like, creatures and weather storms and things that can happen. If you guys didn't know how to sub like, um, sorry, not how to survive Sharknado. Sharknado was actually a film that was made and I don't know if it was made by sci-fi, but it was definitely on the sci-fi channel. Um, it's like a cult classic amongst maybe the, I don't know, 3000 people in the world that actually love the movie. Um, they're making a second one for those of you that are interested, but this book looks like it's going to be absolutely hilarious to read, so I might actually read it. Next up, what we have are some 3D glasses, and I'll be showing you in a little bit what those things are going to be used for, um, but we'll get on to the next thing now. We also got some toxic waste candy, which is quite nice. Self-explanatory shit. There you go. So next up, what we have is Daryl and his douchebag brother in, like, um, a pretty cool piece of art. Um, I do think, like, obviously this is a reprint, this is not like the original art or anything like that, so I'm going to try and find some, like, sort of frame to put this on the wall where I've got all my little bits and bobs and stuff from pre previous loot crates. Um, it's awesome. It looks pretty cool. It's kind of like got that Japanese feel to it. Here what we have are some tattoos that you can put on yourself near time the Halloween, so it slashes and bites. Um, they do look pretty cool. I probably won't be using them, but they're awesome anyway. This is the reason that you needed the 3D glasses. It's because this month's magazine that tells you about what's in the uh, in the loot crate is all printed in 3D. It looks immense, guys. Next, what we have is The Walking Dead issue 132, which is entitled Happiness. Um, it's really cool because it's got that exclusive loot crate sort of feel to it, and pretty awesome to have the signature on there. I know it's not authenticate or authentic or anything. You know, it's just sort of like reprinted, but awesome nonetheless. Giveaway time, guys! If you play the game Smite, then here is a code to receive an exclusive Jack the Ripper skin, or Jack the Reaper, sorry. I don't know much about that game. Next is the t-shirt, and it's a skull made out of kittens. How adorable. The internet has won. Game over world. GG. WP. GH. And all the rest of them. So next up, what we actually have is just the basic box, and this time round, it's immense. As you see, we've got Rencharama, um, there's some zombies trying to get through on the windows on the top, bunch of weapons and stuff. Awesome. Awesome design, guys. Keep them coming. I love the box designs. They are immense. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please give it a like. If you didn't, dislike it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on what you would have liked in this once loot crate, if you would have put your own fear things in there, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!